What's up you guys? We are back to Reykjavik from the West Fjords. Super excited. We're gonna be trying some awesome food. Getting Daniel what he's wanted most ever since we landed in Iceland. I'm stoked right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be doing our first load of actual laundry in a laundromat and just exploring this awesome city. Let's do this. Good morning, everybody. I kind of can't believe that we're saying this right now, but this is our last day here in Iceland. That's right, everybody, our last day. That means tomorrow morning, bright and early, we're off to a new country. Really bright and early. Those are actually yes. both very true. And here. it will be very bright <laughs> that early. <laughs> Got a very early wake up time. Man, that's insane. I feel like we have been here so long. I cannot believe we're finally leaving. If you have stuck with us through all of Iceland videos, congratulations. We hope you've enjoyed them. And thank you. This place is obviously epic and photogenic. We're planning on moving on to something very different, so we're excited to share that with you. With it being our last day here in Iceland, we are actually in Reykjavik right now, which is the big city here in Iceland, and we decided we want to show you a little bit of the city because we've done so much of all the beauty and nature that Iceland has to offer, but the city here is actually pretty cool also. So we're going to take you around today in the city and it's going to be pretty awesome. But before that, and for all of you who are now converted and have Iceland on your bucket list, we have something pretty awesome to share with you. We wanna tell you more about the company we have partnered with here in Iceland during our trip, and that is Air Mango. What Air Mango is, is they are pretty much a one-stop shop tour company here in Iceland, and what I mean by that is you go to one website, you make one booking, and everything you need is provided to you. Everything. You can spend hours, like, we did, researching every spot you want to go to, figuring out what flights you need, figuring out your rental car, or you use a site like Air Mango and everything is done for you. And here's the coolest part, guys. It was done for you by us. That's right, everybody, by us. That's what we are doing here in Iceland is creating these incredible tours with Air Mango for you guys. When we were here back in November, we actually created a tour of the southern coast of Iceland with so many beautiful places to see, things to do, and it was incredible. We loved it and they loved it so much that we decided let's come back and create another tour up in the West Fjords. And that's exactly what we have done this time and it has been incredible. And it's like, I think really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> Guys, you get a Tesla when you're here. You stay at all the cool places that we have personally gone and stayed in. You go to all the rad, beautiful places that we have already gone to. We know what they look like. You know what they look like. And you can now come see them for yourself. Our Southern Coast tour is live on airmango.com. You guys, you can go to their website and book our exact tour, the Dan and Shell South Coast tour. Right now, you get a Tesla, you can stay at all of the incredible places that we have stayed at and see all the amazing things that we have seen for yourself. And our West Fjords tour goes live today. That's right, today. Today! Today! <laughs> Make sure you check them out guys. We'll put a link down in the description to Air Mango's website and you can go check out these tours. If you are considering visiting Iceland, this is a great way to do it. Everything is mapped out for you, minimal work and the ultimate experience. Now let's go see the city. take you guys on a little town tour. Okay, it's actually not a town. It's quite a big city, actually. <laughs> it really is. I mean, look at all the ducks that are here. <laughs> the Swans, duck population is ducks. huge here in Reykjavik. It's booming, you guys. Probably because they get fed so frequently. <laughs> we're at this really cool pond, and they're just everywhere, and they're the most friendly things around. They just all walk up they to you. They just want food. And that's one thing we don't have is food, but I know, guess I feel what? bad we don't have food for them. We're in Reykjavik. We're going to be finding some food today, and it's going to be delicious, and I cannot wait. Daniel's been so excited for this portion of the trip because there's one thing that he has wanted ever since we touched down here in Iceland, and we are going to get it today. <laughs> We're not going to tell you what it is until we get there, though. Yeah, let's go find it. Let's go. 
Guys, the weather here has been crazy. One second, it'll be nice and sunny. Blue skies like you see right now. And then the next second, the winds are howling. Rainstorms blow in and it's uh, extremely cold and wet. We're starting off the day strong. We're coming to get the coveted Icelandic hot dog. Not any Icelandic hot dog, but this place is like world renowned for having the best ones. And so, <laughs> world renowned. it's time guys. It's called Bejar and Bestu and I'm stoked right now. <laughs> You can tell Shell's just as excited I'm as I so am. I'm so excited for my hot dog. <laughs> Thank you for coming here with me. <laughs> Thank you for eating pizza 700 times on this trip. Is that what we're me. having later? Mm. Yeah, we better. <laughs> wow. As we lucked out, we've driven by this place a couple times and the line has been long. Like, really long. We waited about two seconds and he made these in about two seconds. <laughs> they cost about six bucks a dog. Oh, I'll wow. I'll take that. <laughs> That ain't no Costco dog. They got mustard, ketchup, and uh, the brown sauce, which I honestly don't know what it is. And then they have fried onion in there. Let's Take see a bite. if it lives up to the height. <laughs> I'll give you my honest opinion. Shell is always honest. Oh, it's good. The best part about it is the crunchy onions. Other than that, the hot dog's kind of just a hot dog. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone, if I've offended you. It's just a hot dog. Yeah, I think Shell nailed it. It's just a hot dog. I'm still gonna eat the whole thing. Definitely still having another meal later. <laughs> well, we've waited a lot of days for this hot dog. And it's good. It really honestly is good. But let me tell you what I think would make it better. Because I'm such a chef. Double barrel. Double barrel. No, I think they need to get some char on there. We need these hot dogs on the grill with like some slices in it and some char. I think they're just like boiled hot dogs and that's like what we put in our mac and cheese, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the Harpa Conference Center and Concert Hall, AKA they do a lot of things here, <laughs> here in downtown Reykjavik and it is absolutely beautiful. The architecture was inspired by the landscapes of Iceland like the basalt columns and all of the black rock and all of the beautiful things that Iceland has to offer and I feel like they did a really good job. Like it's really beautiful in here. It's kind of trippy like looking up at the ceiling and then with the windows and the sun reflecting, you're kind of like, whoa, like feel like you're gonna fall over a little bit and I'm like standing by a ledge so let's hope I don't fall over that would be bad they started building this in 2007 and then it was halted in 2008 when the recession hit and there was debate on whether or not they were gonna actually finish it what they were gonna do with it ultimately obviously ended up finishing it and now I guess it's become this symbol of unity here within the city that kind of unified people brought the city together after the recession so kind of cool it's beautiful they do all sorts of events here they do concerts it looks like they do lots of conferences here for businesses. They do banquets. There's a private event going on over here. <laughs> you can't tell me to not enter. I would just want to go in there. <laughs> there's music in there and I'm pretty sure they got food and drinks and all sorts of stuff. Maybe there's hot dogs. I see drinks. I see drinks. You think they got hot dogs in there? <laughs> private event. Maybe if we would have dressed better we could have walked in. <laughs> Hey, I wish we could have ate our hot dog at one of these. Yeah, me too. It's so much warmer up here. I was gonna take a load off here in the Harpa just for a minute. They got a lot of these nice plush leather couches strewn Lots about. Of seating area in here, it's great. It's the best. And guys, this place is nuts. Look at this. Anyways. The sun finally came out today, which we are loving, but we've got like Mach 5 winds out there. Mach 5 winds. So, if Tom we're... Cruise opened up the cockpit of his F 15, <laughs> that's what it would feel like. Tom Cruise Mach 5. <laughs> Outside. Out here right and now. So we're hiding from the wind for a little bit. We are delaying the inevitable of going back outside in the wind, but we had some exciting things we wanted to talk to you about real quick. One of which, we booked a plane ticket to our next country. Ah! 
Guys, we came to Iceland not knowing A, where we were going next, and B, well, not even having a plane ticket anywhere. No, because we didn't know where we were going, go figure. We are so stoked about where we are going next, and we kind of want to just see if you guys have any guesses about where that might be. Get down in the comments below, you guys. Give us all of the guesses of where you think we might be going next. We leave so soon, and we're excited. Yeah, we're really excited. It's a place we've never been before, and we're really excited to go there. Yeah. Not only comment down below about where you think we're going next, but also throw some comments at us about places you would like to see us go. We're just Ooh, curious. That's fun. Yeah. We want to know where you guys would like to see us go because let's be honest, we don't have a firm itinerary here. We're kind of going to go where the wind blows us, which is pretty far right now today. The wind can blow you really far right now today. <laughs> but go ahead and throw some comments down there. Where would you like to see us travel to? And where do you think we're going next? We're stoked. Some of you have been asking us the prices here in Iceland, like the cost of food, the cost of everything. And let us tell you right now, it's expensive. It's actually quite an expensive country. I feel like when we were here back in November, we just ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and like frozen pizza. So we never really experienced like eating out. We have been eating out a lot more this trip and it is definitely expensive. So our little food tour today, we will say it's expensive. Shell's going full astronaut. <laughs> here from the one and only laundromat we have been able to find here in Iceland. Whether or not that's true, we don't know yet. We've been to a few places, we've talked to a few people, and pretty much everything we have found has been dry clean only. So, we are here at a laundromat in the basement of a cafe, actually. <laughs> it's like a delicious restaurant right above us called the Laundromat Cafe, and we're gonna do some laundry. It's like I never left home, I'm just doing laundry again. Cool. It's honestly kind of shocking how hard it was to find somewhere to do laundry. We kept asking people where do you do laundry and people would refer us to dry cleaners. So we went to a dry cleaner and it was like outrageously expensive plus none of our stuff needs to be dry cleaned. So we finally found this laundromat cafe and it's just so random. They have the nicest restaurant upstairs and then they have the four washers, four dryers down here. And guess what? It's still not cheap. This is costing about 40 bucks to do a couple loads of laundry. You ready to start it? We're in. This is gonna feel great, guys. We have not done laundry for a while. All right, here we go. It's been a minute since we've been on an electric scooter. Oh, these are beefy. Beep, beep. Sorry, babe, I don't know where yours is. Aw, man. You gotta push out. Woo! <laughs> All right, now we gotta find another one because we're not fitting both of us with these bags on one scooter. How is it, babe? Great, it's freezing. I need some gloves, but other than that, <laughs> whoa! Other than that, it's great. Just waiting at a crosswalk here. We've gotten lost. We've had to do a few U-turns, few. Oh wait, we're, are we green? No, not yet. We're not green yet. <laughs> but we're making it, we're making it. It's somewhere in this general area. It's somewhere within this city is where we're going. The scooters are great, guys. Parking is kind of difficult in Reykjavik. There's all sorts of like different zones. You have to pay for parking, etc. But the scooty, rent it for a couple bucks, go where you're going, and then you just leave it. Awesome. <laughs> We're right downtown in Reykjavik. We decided to ditch the scooters. We just used them as a way to get downtown. We didn't want to drive the car here because parking can sometimes be a little bit difficult and a little bit, not expensive, but you do have to pay for parking almost everywhere in the downtown area. They have like zones, P1, P2, P3, P4. The lower the number, the more expensive the parking is. We found the scooters, got downtown. Oh look, we're in a P1 zone right now. So, no parking for us. We're gonna walk the streets here and they're beautiful, guys. Really beautiful. Ooh. 
no trip to Reykjavik is complete without a stop at Hallgrim's Kirkja. This is a massive Lutheran church built back in the 80s and it is like at the center of the city. And it's huge guys, it is massive and it's beautiful. They made it to look a lot like the Icelandic features here like the basalt columns that you see out on the coast. They modeled the church after it and it's so cool. They did a great job. I'm gonna go peek inside. They have a massive pipe organ in here. So we're gonna go take a look at that. November and this guy was here at the organ and he was playing and these pipes holy smokes They sound so good. I think I have a clip on my phone Maybe we'll try and insert it, but it's not gonna be as good as if we had taken it on this camera I know. No one's playing right now. Unfortunately, I know I'm kind of sad. It is so cool. and It's so loud. This place is really really pretty Listen, I'm just trying to fit in here in your <laughs> Everyone eats with a fork and knife. Even the hamburger, fork and knife. I've seen it all over. All right guys, I know we've been eating a lot of pizza since we've been in Iceland, and that's kind of one of the main things that they serve here. Pizza and hamburgers. We had a very, very strong recommendation that we had to come to Baka Baka here in Reykjavik. And I'm very grateful that we did because this is absolutely delicious. The crust is incredible. This restaurant's actually owned by the guy who owns Brauden Co., which is a famous bakery here in Reykjavik. And so I would expect nothing less than delicious dough for your pizza by the owner of a really famous bakery. So I'm glad we came. This is fantastic. It's that time again. We're getting all packed up. I don't know why, but I feel like every time we repack our bags, they seem bigger and harder to close. But I almost feel like we're going through things that we brought. So shouldn't our bags feel smaller? I don't know. But we're getting all packed up, ready to go. You guys, we fly out. It might not look like it's very late. I feel like we say this literally at the end of every single video here, but it's getting kind of late. We have a super early morning because we are flying out to our next country and we are so excited, but we need to get packed and and then hopefully get some sleep because I'm not a morning person. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, we're gonna go ahead and say good night, say goodbye to Iceland. We hope you've loved it, and I hope you cannot wait for what is to come because we are seriously excited. Dreading the early morning, <laughs> but very excited for what's to come. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you somewhere else. <laughs> In our next country. Good night, everyone. Bye.